now I remember my dad telling me he dropped me on my head when he first held me in the hospital. I might actually be a Highlander, but a crappy one. <laughs> Hey, my mom dropped me. She didn't technically drop me, but I did get dropped on my head as a child as well because my parents were on holiday and they didn't have a cot for babies and I was a little baby. And so they just kind of wrapped me in a towel, trying to build a towel wall around me, hoping that, you know, it would keep me from rolling around in my sleep. And my mom said she woke up in the middle of the night to the sound of a coconut hitting the floor and then screaming. And that was me. So I was also dropped on my head as a child. High five. Head drop solidarity. Okay, he plays a bass. Which hand? Is he right-handed or left-handed? I actually don't know the rules with guitar. <laughs> Can someone who knows how to play a guitar tell me which hand he should be playing with? If he's right or left-handed, which one is on the neck? He's left-handed, he would hold the neck in his right. In English? Cloud date. Magic fixed it. And it took years to start to feel comfortable with my art again. And then now to meet so many people with their own styles who are, or who are still so supportive of just you doing what you do, you know, they respond more positively than you could have possibly thought. And it's just like, this is so cool. Why was I ever doubting myself in the past? So all of you, thank you for sharing your art. You're all fantastic and you're all beautiful people. Thank you for being part of our murder. <laughs> it's a weird end to that sentence. This is the most wholesome murder. <laughs> there we have it. Welcome to the wholesome murder. Enjoy the show. Oh my god. People who think using references is cheating and not real art don't know their art history at all. They really don't. If you have never seen a real skull before, how are you supposed to draw a skull without using a ref- Exactly! That picture I just showed you, you can bet I had references. You think I can draw a skull with that level of detail off the top of my head? No? I'm not weird? Oh! Woo! It's very cool today. A nice chilly 26 degrees. Real feel 33 degrees. And- Oh! <laughs> Yeah, a whole day of raining takes the temperature down from 35 degrees to 26 degrees, but our humidity has gone from 70% to 94% humidity out there. So if you feel like going for a swim in your clothes, just step outside. Oops. Elder Scrolls, they go, hey, here's a race of elves that are absolute assholes, racists, xenophobes, fascists, you know, they're terrible people. And then you're playing Elder Scrolls online and you're going, why are you telling me this in the lore? But all of the people we're meeting are Aikises, Verandas, Fenorian, uh, even like Naramo. And I'm like, all of the, the babies, just I want to adopt them because they're adorable and sweet. Is it too much to ask? ask that for once in my life I can get absolutely towered over by the significant other. Like Larissa, have you seen the trailers for Greymore? Oh my god. Lyris, baby, call me Fen because I want you to slap me with your axe if you know what I'm- anyway. What if Mel just sabotaged the experiment because he knew the principles of how it works and if he can sabotage this experiment, his father gets trapped in a plane of oblivion somewhere. Whoopsie daisies, the throne opens up nice and early. Don't have to wait another 600 years for him to die off of natural causes. And wouldn't you know it, the one guy who's implicated in it, the alchemist himself, he gets kicked out of Altmer society. And there you go, hands clean. That's that loose end tied up now to take care of my sisters. Yeah, so now Azar lost his entire livelihood and wound up accidentally getting turned into a vampire all because Mel was a greedy little bitch. Athena be like, haha, remember how you like Mel? I will make him destroy everything. Redeem him now, bitch. Try it. <laughs> Thank God Zack has biceps back because of all the moral lifting he has to do for the both of them. I tried to be ballsy. Um, I watched Hereditary in cinema. And, and I forgot that my parents were out that weekend. So I had three days home alone after watching Hereditary in cinema. I got back home, called up my two friends in Europe, and we played Elder Scrolls until the sun was up. Like, I, I literally, I was like, you guys, you cannot let me go to sleep. I cannot sleep. I do not want to sleep. All the lights in the house are on. 
All the doors are locked. I swear to God, if I hear that fucking noise that the girl makes, I'm going to die of a heart attack. So we're going to keep headphones on and you guys are going to keep me awake for the next eight hours. And we did. We played like just dungeon after dungeon after dungeon. I was fucking dying, but I couldn't sleep. You still have to know your art basics. You cannot go straight to digital art. If you do not know how to draw a character, it will show. Your anatomy will be flawed and it will show. It doesn't matter how nice you render it. You still have to have your art basics or you're just 